y'all, Taylor by Debbie here. Today I'm gonna show you how to take a star wreath frame from the Dollar Tree and three tablecloths and make a wreath out of them. All right, now all I've done is just taken them out of their packages and we're gonna take one at a time. We're gonna leave them folded the way they are and we're gonna start by cutting the tablecloths directly in half. It's kind of thick, so it's a little bit hard to cut. Okay, and then we're gonna cut these in half again. They don't have to be perfect. That's the one great thing about this kind of a wreath. All right, then these on the end are folded. So we're gonna wanna open that up and then cut that in half. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. See, those two we'll take out. All right, and then we're gonna take these each and fold them in half this way and cut them. Let's see here. Looks like there are still, hang on one second. I guess not, I thought that was folded over. Well, it is right there. What is it? No, it's not, okay. So we're just gonna take these. Fold it in half, cut each one. one on the red. All right, now we're gonna do the same exact thing with our white and our blue tablecloths. And then I'll be right back. Okay, now that we have all of our tablecloths cut into strips, and they're approximately one and a half inches wide by about six and a half inches long, we're gonna take several of them at a time and probably about two inches down or so we're just going to come in and kind of come to a rounded point here at the end just like so okay so now we're gonna go through and cut them all like that, and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all, now that we have all these cut, we're just going to put, push these over to the side, and we're gonna take our frame, cut off our tag, and we're gonna start on one of these inner rings. Okay, and you're gonna to need to pull these apart where you've cut them, because they kind of stick together. Let's see. Pull several of these apart. And 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to take and start tying them on to this inner bar here. And I think I'm going to do red, then white, then blue. So I'm going to kind of lay them out here. Just separating some. Okay. So I'm going to start with red. You're just going to come on that inner bar and you're going to tie it one time and then you're going to pull it snug. Ooh, and y'all, we have a thunderstorm here, so y'all just heard lightning hit something nearby. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Scared me. Okay, so now we're just going to take and we're going to tie on, I think I'm going to tie on three pieces of each color. like this. And then we're going to push it over to the side. And don't pull too tight. Just pull it so you can get it tied on there snug. We're going to do white. All right, and I'm going to go down toward the bottom of my pieces when I'm pulling it tight so we don't stretch the top part. Okay, just kind of come down here to the bottom and pull it tight and then push it over. And they're going to be pushed snugly on the bar so um, I don't believe there's going to be any risk of these coming untied unless you intentionally untie them. Okay, so we're just going to come closer to the knot and pull it snug, push it over, just kind of pull up our petals as we go. I'm going to do a third one here. Just tie it on there. Push it over, and then we'll come do three of the blue. And I believe we're going to be able to get two sets of three on each one of these inner rings. That's what I'm going to shoot for. You want to push it over pretty snugly. The great thing about this, y'all, is this will be waterproof because this is plastic tablecloth. Now, it might fade in the sun, but um, you could put this outside, you know, where it can get wet. I'm going to do red. Together, so you need to just take them apart. Ooh, can y'all hear that rain? It is coming down out there. Look 
how cute this is gonna look, y'all. So easy, so inexpensive. Just sit down, put in your favorite movie or turn on your favorite music and just tie on your little tablecloth strips. So we did three red, three white, three blue, then three red, three white, and three blue. And that has brought us to the end of that first inside bar. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to do this on all the inside and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Y'all, look how pretty this is looking. And this is only the inside rung so far. We've only done the inside rung and it's already looking really full. And I did three in a row of each color times two on here. So we have 18 pieces, six of each color in each section. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna do the second row. And what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna tie four red, four white, four blue, all the way around the second row. And when I finish that, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, look how pretty this looks now after having the first and the second um, rungs of the wreath completed. So now we just need to go back and do this last one here. And on this one, I'm probably going to do four and four and four again um, twice on each of these, and we'll see how it looks. I'll come back when I'm done with that last row. Okay, y'all, look at this when it's all finished, how wonderful this looks. Now we're going to flip it over on the back side and make sure we have all of the pieces pushed to the front. And all those pretty ends on the front side as much as we can. So we're just going to push them all through. There may still be a few in there. Okay, then on the center where you've got your definitive star shape, go ahead and kind of fold that over too. All right. Let's turn it over, and then you can just kind of fluff it up. That looks so pretty, y'all. All right, now we have a wooden star that I'm going to paint to put in the middle. Okay, once we have it all fluffed up, I'm gonna set it to the side. And then I have this wood star and one of these foam sheets that you can buy from Walmart or any else, any other place that they sell craft supplies. So we're just gonna take a pencil and I'm going to trace around this star onto this craft foam. Just like so. And we're gonna cut this out. There again, the foam will be outside friendly. Okay, so we've got us a star cut now. And we're going to be placing it in the middle of our wreath. And I'm going to use um, a couple of pipe cleaners, probably three. And we're going to use white to kind of blend in with our foam. Let's see. I'm just going to take an X 
X-Acto knife and we're going to poke a small hole in the top point and then two of the bottom ones. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to take our pipe cleaner. We're going to push it through. We're going to come just a little bit to the side with our pipe cleaner. Okay, and we're going to come down here and do the same thing. We're gonna come through here and we wanna find this point and try to feed the pipe cleaner through there. I wanna come right above this crossbar here in the center. So we're just gonna move. We've got so much of that tablecloth on here, y'all, it's really tight. Just gonna come through there, make sure we're above. And then we wanna wrap around this crossbar right here too, so that it won't slide side to side. Okay, and then we're gonna look at it. We don't want it pulled so tight that it pulls the star down into the wreath. So we're gonna loosen that up just a little bit. Okay. You gotta be careful not to pull too tight because it will tear the star because it is just made out of foam. So let's gently pull that down a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna leave that a little bit loose. And then we're gonna come down here and find the bottom points of the star for these other two. And just try to, on that inner ring, Find that point and just try to find a place to separate where you can stick your pipe cleaner down in there. And y'all, it's tight because we have put so many of the little strips on there. So we're just going to come down through here and then right down through here just like so. All right, and we're gonna pull a lot of those little strips through to cover up the pipe cleaner. But for right now, we're gonna come down here and do the same thing on that outer, I mean the inner, that very inner ring right here where the corner is. You wanna put one pipe cleaner just above that bar on this side of that little crossbar here. Just want to find a place to secure your wreath onto the frame, the star onto the frame. Sorry, y'all. Okay, we're going to turn it over. We've got those two there, those two there, and then these two here. Okay, so we just want to have our star kind of sitting in the middle. So now we're going to go ahead and twist these. Twist it loosely for now and make sure that we're not pulling it too tight on the front. Just twist it. Twist it. Turn it over and look at it. And I think that's looking pretty good, y'all. Okay. So you want to decide where your top is, and this is a delicate balance. You want the star to show, but you also want the streamers, the little streamers that you cut. You want some behind, some up, 
and just kind of pull and hide that pipe cleaner completely. But there you go, y'all. Now the only thing we gotta do is trim these off the back. Okay, I'm gonna twist it a little bit more. And I'm just gonna trim this with my pliers right here. Fold that down into the wreath and do the same thing with these two. Make sure they're twisted at least about five times so they won't come undone. And then just bend that down into the wreath. Bend this piece right down into the wreath, just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to use one more pipe cleaner to make a hanger. And I want this part to be the top. So I'm just going to come up here on this, um, let's see, where's, go to the middle bar. I'm going to go right here in the middle bar and just pull this pipe cleaner around that wire right there. This is not a very heavy wreath, so you're not gonna need something really strong to hold it up, which pipe cleaners are pretty sturdy. So we're just gonna wrap that around several times, trim that off, continue to wrap it till you run out of pipe cleaner. Then we wanna come over here Here's where that middle bar is. Come over here about the same place as we went over here. Okay. Just spread that apart. Wrap that pipe cleaner around that wire. Right there. And pull it up and then you're just gonna wrap it around this pipe cleaner as we get it pulled up here. It's caught on one of the pieces of plastic. There we go. So you want this to where you're not gonna be able to see the hanger from the front side of the wreath. And then we're just gonna wrap this pipe cleaner around several times. Then we can trim that off. Wrap that last little bit around and around till you've got it. Now there's your hanger. Just kind of Fluff that up a little bit so you can see the star in the middle. And this wreath is done. I hope you give this a try. If you do, please send me a photo to Tailored by Debbie, T A Y L O R E D by Debbie at gmail.com. Send me a photo because I would love to see how yours turned out. And y'all, look how many strips we still have left to use on another project. And that was just three tablecloths. So for $5 in cost and a few pipe cleaners, we have a beautiful patriotic wreath that is weather resistant. It's plastic, this is foam, and the metal frame is basically completely covered with all the plastic. So um, I really do hope y'all will give it a try. And until next Friday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll see y'all later. Have a great week. Bye, y'all. Thank you.